Hi friends, Mindy here. I have an unboxing for you today. This is the newest kit, Consider Jesus, from By the Will for God. Uh, the last, at the time that I'm recording this, there are still a few, um, not a ton, but there are still some in stock. So I will put my affiliate link down below if you're interested in checking this out. Um, I apologize in advance. This is probably going to be a little bit longer of a video just because there's a lot to show you this, this month. So I'm just going to dig right in. I'm just going to go ahead and start with the goodie bag. Um, as always, you know, depending on your order, you will get um, a little goodie bag with all these fun things from Tom and Lori. So this month there's a little teacup stamp set. There are some bow clips and you can use um, this little card here. It's got a scripture on the back. It's got these little note cards, which I love. I think these are so cute. There's also um, some like faux washi and some labels. And then this was the special one for if you were the in the first 300 that ordered over I want to say it's fifty dollars, um, and these are handmade with love. And um, there's a little tea bag in here, which is so cute, and um, and a little thank you card that also you could use that as well. So you could use this to tea dye something. You could use it to have a nice cup of tea if you get one of these. But um, I just wanted to show that most of the time I don't show what's all in the, the goodie bag, but, um, it was just too cute to, to not share this time. So, um, but it, like I said, that what's in there is kind of dependent on the amount that you order and everybody's, um, can be, can be different depending on when in the month you order and that kind of stuff too. So, um, as always, there's a thank you note in here that has the hashtag for the kit, some information about joining the email list, which I would suggest that you do if you'd like to be notified anytime they um, kind of have a restock or something like that, they'll send out an email, but also the day of the release, they'll send out an email with some photos and stuff of the kit so you can see, um, and they'll give you more information about all of that. So um, we're talking about this month, we're talking about considering Jesus and um, it's kind of a coffee theme, kind of, you know, just a sit and ponder and consider and um, consider like this as the consider the wondrous works of God. So, um, and then as always, there's a sneak peek of next month as well. So that is just the goodie bag. As you can see, there's a ton in there. I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to start with um, the main kit here and I'm going to pull out the devotional because um, as I've said, you know, before it's always the most important part. The devotionals are 14 day um, by the well designs them so that you could do your um, your study and take all of your notes on, on the first day and then kind of go back through and do your journaling on the second day. I know a lot of us uh, do this a little bit differently. Personally, I read through, I will read through it all in one, usually one or two sittings at first. And then I'll go back through, you know, kind of make initial notes and then I kind of go back through. So by the time I've actually journaled, all of the pages. Usually I have, I have read through the devotional a couple, maybe even three times. Um, that's just how I like to, to do it. But like I said, that's all just kind of personal preference, but, um, it's 14 day devotional. There's an introduction and then, um, all of the days. And these are always in depth studies. There's a lot of scripture in here. I believe this one was written by Judy. Yes. And, um, and also in the front here, there's again, that, um, hashtag. So you can follow this hashtag if you are interested in seeing what other people are doing or getting inspiration for maybe some of their pages. But also if you are posting on any, on social media, be sure to use that hashtag so that we can follow along as well. So this is the devotional. These are the beautiful kind of tea and coffee, um, and just this really be beautiful kind of muted, um, watercolor palette that I, I just love. So that is the devotional. I'm going to go ahead and pull out all of these items here. Oh. So as always, the devotionals come or the kits come in a canvas drawstring bag. And then um, there's some another clip card that has two bow clips, another scripture on here. You can use this as a tip in. You could use it just for the artwork. Um, but you can, you know, a lot of us, I know me personally, a lot of times I will deconstruct these bow clips and use the fabric on my pages and that kind of stuff where you can use them on your page, whatever you, however you want to do that. There's also a little flare button. This one says consider Jesus and it's got the cute little teacup on there. I'm going to say coffee cup because 
I'm more of a coffee drinker than a tea drinker, but um, there is a stamp set here that has a kind of a, you know, digital alarm clock with the numbers. There's some little warm and cozy socks and then your beverage of choice. You can kind of see an idea for how you can color that. There's even some little coffee beans, which are so cute. Um, and so that is the stamp set. Then um, the ephemera pack this time has quite a lot in it. And I think it actually has more in it than um, it says on there from what Lori was saying. Um, they, they packed it full because they just wanted to include all of the things. So I'll kind of go through here quickly, but the, um, I'm going to pull this out first. The texture, which is just near and dear to my heart here, is actually a vintage book page, which I'm so excited about. And um, it's just got really good coloring and everything. So I forgot the year that they said this book was published, but um, it's, it's old. So this is fun, uh, just a fun little edition for the texture this month. And then I'll kind of go through here pretty quickly. Again, you know, there's just a lot. There's, you know, some books. There's, I love this with this little scene on there, like a little um, charcuterie or cutting board. And then like just some loose florals. I love this one with the glasses and the coffee cup. So cute. There's, there are just a lot of these. And um, I really love the kind of muted blues and yellows. The color palette this month is really pretty. I love the male kind of in the background on this one. There's one with a little teapot. There's another with a teapot. And um, also when you order the kit, you will also get the digital versions of the ephemera so that you can print um, more of them if you want to. I like to do those sometimes on clear sticker paper, um, but it also, so you just, you know, don't have to feel like you're using up all of, all of the things. You can always print out more because they send you the digitals. So, so I'm going to set that aside. And then they've recently started repackaging these just a little bit differently, which I love. It's just all contained in here together. I'm sorry for the packaging noise. I tried to have some of these open already just to make it easier, but uh, one of the things that is always unique to By the Well is the watercolor dot card. These are Daniel Smith um, watercolors. These are artist grade watercolors, so they're highly pigmented, and you can kind of see the colors here. And um, I love this Payne's blue gray; it's a beautiful color. But a little bit goes a long way. So I like to use an acrylic block, or you could use even the packaging um, to kind of create a little palette to work from, and then just let that dry and you can use it throughout the month. A little bit goes a long way. I know it may not seem like there's a ton of watercolor on here, but you really can do a lot with these. I don't think I have ever used um, a card all the way through, you know, completely in, in one month. So um, there's a lot of, lot of watercolor on there. And I love that that's just something that really unique to the By the Wall kits. There's also a sticker. This is not a vinyl sticker. It's just a white um, sticker paper, but it's got the um, title of the kit. I like to put these, especially if I'm working in a journal separate from my journaling Bible, I like to put these um, on the front cover pages just so I remember. And then there are three journaling cards that have scripture on them. I love this font this month. It's beautiful. Um, so you have Ephesians 2, 8, 9, Hebrews 4, 16, Hebrews 3, 1, and then in the back is just dot grid. So you can use these um, for tippins. You can create pockets um, and like tuck them in, or you can make a pocket out of one of these. Um, I, I love the, um, the journaling cards. And then the last little section that comes in just in this main kit here are the um, stickers. So you have two sheets of clear stickers that have the images. And again, you have the digitals for all of these as well. So you have these beautiful um, like faux washi and then some florals here. And then I love this little teapot and little coffee cups grinder. So cute. Love that. And then you also get a set of alphas and a set of numbers. These are on white sticker paper. Um, so these are, are going to be opaque, but um, you they, they do have some that are clear as well, but I'll, I'll get to those in a second. But um, so you get a full set of numbers and alphas. And then this is actually the backer for, for that. And um, it's double-sided. You could use either one of these to create a tip-in. You could even, if you're journaling in um, 
a smaller margin Bible, you could even just kind of cut out a section and you have basically an instant background to work from. So um, use up all of your packaging. There's a lot, you know, they, they really do try to make sure that everything is, um, is usable and nothing goes to waste. So that is everything that's in the main kit. It's really all that you need to work through the devotional um, other than maybe a pen and a paintbrush and maybe an acrylic block for the stamps and um, a stamp pad. So um, really everything that you need to work through the devotional is, is in that main kit. But of course, there's always fun things to go along with it as well. Uh, one of the things that they always release are five stamp sets. And these are um, something that you can get during the initial release of the kit. And you can get them at a special price. So if you order one of them, then you can get it at $12. They're normally $15. If you order two or more, then you can get the stamp sets for $10. So it's a really good deal. It's a really good time to get the stamp sets that coordinate with the kit. Um, and also a lot, oftentimes they will sell out and they're not, sometimes it's the only way that you can really guarantee that you're going to get them is if you order them with the kit. If they do have any extra, they will list them separate after the initial release. Um, but a lot of times they do end up selling out. So um, this first one here is called Jesus is a better and it's just lists all of these adjectives basically um, about Jesus. And I love this, um, the font on here. Um, so it's, it's just a beautiful script. And um, so you have Jesus is a better rest, high priest, angel, calling, relationship, all just all these different things. So um, you can really kind of build your titles and things from this uh, really fun set. I think that's going to be really versatile. Then, of course, there is a floral. This one's called Faithful Floral. You can see all these line art. And then you can kind of see the watercolory um, background there. And then this one is called Tea Time. So you have the teapot. Uh, I think that you could use like these little um, patterns here and kind of stamp in here, but I also think you could take the stamp and stamp it on the pattern paper and then cut it out and then you'd have like your little decorative teapot if you wanted to. You could kind of, um, not everyone's into kind of paste paper piecing, but you could definitely do that and make a really cute um, teapot. So you also have your mug there. Um, this is like a little bag of tea and coffee cup and then just a tea bag over there. This one is so cute. It's called Coffee Bar. Um, and then you have your little coffee pot and just all of the little things on here. I really like that one. You can kind of see how they colored it here on the background. This would be fun even if you wanted to send, um, if you're a card maker, you could stamp this, color it, and then have a cute little um, card to send to somebody. And then the last one that they have is called Mosaic of Faith. And I know this kind of looks like it would be really dark, but this is just kind of showing how it's kind of just a little bit distressed some. So if you stamped this in a really light color, this would make a really beautiful background. So don't be intimidated by the kind of dark black. That's just the printing for the cover sheet. So um, it, but you can stamp this in whatever and just get a really beautiful um, background. So this month they released um, three different um, stencils. So this one is called Sprouts, and I think this is really cute. We've talked about this um, in, in the team. It kind of looks, reminds us of wallpaper. Um, I think this is actually really versatile. I think this would be a lot of fun with texture paste and stuff as well. And then um, this one is Lilies of the Field. Just kind of some um, vines on florals on there. And then I love this one with the coffee rings. I think this is really, really fun. So um, I think you can do a lot with this. Just, just create an extra little um, background without it being overwhelming. But I think this would be fun even with texture paste also. So, um, And then, of course, each one of the backers is colored. You could stamp. You could cut tabs out of this. You could do um, you know, all kinds of things. And they're just kind of coordinate. So um, those are the three stencils that they released this month. And I, Lori did say that um, they'll probably be releasing stencils like that so that they can keep them in the shop. Um, more regularly than when they kind of just sell out like they have been doing. So um, also this month there are two flashcard sets and they are colored a little bit differently. I'm not going to take them out of here um, because I don't want to lose any of them, but you don't need both sets, but um, you can get both sets and not feel like you're going to have repeats. So e either one of these will take you through the entire devotional. They, they are very, um, 
they're very specific about the way that they very intentional. That's the word I'm looking for. They're very intentional about how they do this so that they make sure that each set is different, has different words and different scriptures, but either set will take you through um, all 14 days of the devotional. If you just like having extra, then you can get both of them. I like having both of them because a lot of times I will write um, the extra scriptures on the back and use these um, to kind of tuck in just to make sure that I'm, I'm getting all of my notes and things. It's just a, a good way to do that. So I know a lot of people use these as layering pieces and this font on here um, on this month is something I really like. I just think it's really pretty. So um, again, I'm not going to open those. I'm just going to set those off to the side and get into some of the other extras. These are kind of the normal extras that um, come every month. So the first one I'm going to pull out here is the journaling cards. They did these a little bit different this month too. So this month they just kind of have the um, scenery on the front and there's, instead of having three of each, there are two of each and then there's just more designs. And I love these. I think these are so beautiful. I actually got um, a second set of these because I can see using these in a lot of ways. They remind me of some other kits that we've done that just, um, they're just, to me, I don't know, they're just very peaceful and everything, and I just really like them. And then, of course, on the back, there are some lines for your journaling. So I love those. Like I said, I got a second set of those because I like them so much. Um, I also like the labels. These are very popular. So you get um, five sheets of these, and each sheet has three different labels on there with a different background. You have the dot grid you have the grid and then lined so these are great for for layering for titles um these are are one of those things that are just really versatile to use and then the alpha tiles there's five sheets of these and these are um there are a lot of letters on here and a lot of like your commonly used letters too so um these will go a long way as well i'm trying to get so you can see the different colors this month so the, there are five of the alpha tiles and then of course there are the clear stickers as well so this is um the pattern that's kind of like the knitted socks these are on clear sticker paper so depending on um, how dark some of these colors are you can actually put these over the words in your bible if you wanted to and not feel and you'd still be able to read through it with maybe the exception of this this one here but um you know, obviously that's that's personal preference. And I haven't mentioned this in a while, I don't think, but there are two stamp sets and I don't know if they're still in stock, but um, I should probably have thought about that before I recorded this. But um, there's the craft, there's the outlined and then the um, caffeinated outline that you can get if you liked the outline of the alpha stickers and you can kind of like stamp the letter and then you can pop the sticker down in there and it just gives each one of these a nice outline and makes them pop off off your page it's obviously not necessary but um i was just thinking about i might pull those out of my stash and use them um this month i think it would just go well with some of the line art um type stuff so um anyway those are the um the clear alpha stickers, like I said, there are seven sheets of those. And then there's also always two sets of uh, traveler's notebooks. I have journal set two this month because I really love this one that has these coffee rings. And then the one on the back is that mosaic pattern. So you can kind of see how beautiful that is there. Um, you can choose one or both. I love the traveler's notebooks from By the Well for God because the paper quality is amazing. It's the same paper that the devotionals are printed on, so it's really thick. And um, if you've seen any of my videos before where I have taken one of these and like deconstructed it and made a journal out of it, and I I put them through quite a lot when I do that with um, adding paper and different mediums and even watercolor and paints and all kinds of things, and they they can hold up to it. So um, I, I really love the Traveler's Notebooks, even just for personal note-taking outside of um, working through this devotional, I use the, the, um, traveler's notebooks a lot. So, um, and then the last thing that's kind of the common, um, item, extra item is the paper pad. And this is the six by eight paper set. They do have a six by six, um, set as well. Personally, I prefer the six by eight. Um, but I know like for people who are doing card making and stuff, the six by six, just with the scale being a little bit smaller, is um, more helpful, but I'm just going to go through here. So there are 24 um, double-sided papers. So there's three 
um, each of eight different designs. So this one has just all the different um, coffee cups and then the, the coffee beans on the back. This beautiful blue like floral with the little, it's, I won't say it's a gingham, but just kind of a plaid pattern in the back. And then this is like ledger on the back. I love that. This one has some florals and some uh, coffee beans. And this one has like cutting boards or charcuteries and it has um, like uh, verses typed in there. And then this, that kind of mosaic tile pattern again. And then this is, uh, and I like that they're doing kind of, you know, a busier pattern on one side and then a more neutral kind of um, pattern on the back. So you can really um, kind of use them how you would like. I, I like this one with the flowers and then this one, this um, I think would be fun with maybe some texture paste and stuff over it, over the top of it. Um, this one kind of has the book page look to it and then um, the wood plank on the back. And then this one has the teapots and the tea bags and then the coffee that's kind of very similar to um, the Traveler's Notebook. So I really love that one. So that is all of the paper. And then this month they released a few extra things. They were have been trying to do. They always listen to um, feedback from their customers, obviously. And so um, one of the things that people have asked about has been extra stamp set or sticker sets. It's been really popular. They released those last month as well. Um, and so they did that again this month. So you have some extra florals here. Um, and then these postage stamps. I, I love these. These are might be one of my favorite things ever. Um, and then another set here. This one is like the faux washi, but you get a longer piece which I really like because you can get it across the edge of your you know the whole full page of your bible and then these are the title starters so these are actually the um 14 days um that are in the devotional I really appreciate that they have done that this time so um if you're wanting to label each day like uh, oftentimes I work in a, a journal that I make and so this is just a way a good way to title um the days and so they created this extra stamp set but other people were also asking for um more sticker not, not stamps these are stickers <laughs> sorry um my brain is working faster than the rest of me I guess but um I'm trying to get through this without this video being an hour long but um the other thing that they released um based on people's requests are some mini sticker packs that go with it. So these would be kind of the same size and style that you would get in the mini Bible kits, but just the actual stickers. So you have um, two sheets of, of this design, and then there's two sheets of this design. These are so cute. So it's kind of those other stickers, but just condensed, and then two um, different designs of the florals. So there are eight total sticker sheets in this little mini sticker pack. And um, I think these are really versatile for a lot of things. I really, really love those. And then, and be, you know, if you do enjoy any of these new kind of things, make sure you're letting Tom and Lori know because that lets them know, you know, in the future if that's something they have time to do. Um, and they can they can do that. So another item that they have this month is an extra die cut pack. So um, the only difference with the ones that I showed earlier is that there's not a texture piece in here, but it does have um, 20 ephemera paper pieces in here, which is good if you um, if you maybe don't have access to a printer, but you want um, extra of these. For me, I like like having them because sometimes my printer does not print true color um, to the kit, and so having the extra die cut pieces is just really helpful. So um, again, this is the same as the die, as the ephemera pack that is in the kit. It just does not have the texture piece, which this month was that um, vintage book page. So, but another thing that they released this month is just a, kit, a set of florals. So there are 21 ephemera paper pieces in this pack. This is a separate pack from that. This only has the florals in it. So if you tend to be um, more interested in the floral, you can do that. I actually got a couple of these because I just, I think they're so beautiful. I love, I love the colors, the kind of muted 
colors. I've said that a bunch, but um, anyway, I did end up getting two packs of these because I really, really like those. So this is a new addition to this particular kit this month. They also released kind of a throwback to an older kit that we've had before, some um, tea bags, which I think are so cute. I'm going to pull out this. Um, there's the one we did. I can't remember the name of it with the lemons and it had the um, tea bags in it as well. So these are just little tea bags. You can dye them. You can coffee dye them. You could even use, uh, if you have like distress reinkers or distress ink pads, you can um, color these and make them look more vintagey. And then of course it comes with the stickers that have um, the little scriptures and stuff on it for the little, um, the little tags at the end of your tea bag. So they think of everything at By the Will for God when they are doing these. So these are super cute. And then back by popular demand uh, is something I'm personally very excited about is the build a book kit. And this was, um, the last time they did this was note to self. And I know that, that they, these sold out really quickly, but they have given you everything that you need to create your own journal. It's in like, another one of these canvas bags. It's got some yellow, um, Rick rack is that what that's called on the top not a seamstress so um anyway but everything that you need to um create a journal is in here so you can see they've included the thread that you need to bind it a needle they've even included a fun little bead if you want to um kind of decorate it they have already cut your chipboard that you need there's three pieces in here um try to find the other one so you have your two pieces, so your, your front and back, and then your spine piece. There's um, also the papers for your signatures are in here, which are these. These are already cut and folded for you. This was a labor of love, I, having all of these pieces um, cut and everything. And then you have your end papers. This is kind of to cover up, like if you're wrapping your, your book board. There's also an inner spine piece to cover. There's also Tyvek that you need um, to kind of for the spine hinge. There's also a little template so that you know exactly where to poke your holes and everything. They have really honestly, truly thought of everything um, to do this. And then they also included this so you could make your own little tassel. And it has this cute little coffee cup that they did on their Glowforge, which I absolutely adore. Um, and then, if you are interested and you have, if you've never made this, this kind of book before, um, they have included this instruction page that has, um, color photos on here to, and directions for how to do it. But also there's a QR code down here. So you can scan this and, um, watch a video of Lori putting this book together. Um, and so you can get, you know, if you are more of a visual person, but, or, you know, if that's just easier for you, she has created a video. This was um, the one that she created, I believe, for um, Note to Self. So, um, but everything that you need to get the idea for how to create this this book will be in there. I um, I have a video where I created um, my journal for Note to Self. I'll try to remember to link that below. I did bind mine just a little bit differently than Lori does in her, in her video. So um, if you're wanting to use like this template and everything exactly like it is, then I would encourage you to watch Lori's video, read through the instructions if you need to. Um, but I'm really excited. I know this sold out super fast last time and every and there were people who were asking about it. So I personally am glad they brought it back. I love creating journals. I love working in journals. So um this is really a great thing for me. I, like I said, I was really excited that they were bringing that back this month. Um, another thing that they did this month um, are the fabrics. So you can kind of see here, um, there are three different fabrics in this um, pack. They are 10 by 12. I'm not going to pull them out, um, but you can kind of pick and choose if you wanted to use these for covering your journal, you could definitely do that. If you wanted to use the paper pack, you could definitely do that. You could paint that chipboard. You could do really however you want to do it. But um, this would be a good option if you're wanting to cover that book board in, in fabric. They also released some mini file folders 
or yeah, some note folders this month. Um, I these are one of those things that I just I love. I love all things office supply um, related. <laughs> so the little file folders are just something that I just think are so cute. So I actually. Um, got an extra set of these as well, but I'll just kind of flip through here. You can see these are just kind of in the um, same um, patterns as the pattern paper, but, and they're already like scored and everything for you. All you got to do is fold them to use them. So these are fun. They've been releasing these um, the last few months and I really, I really like them. And this month they also released some other stamp sets as well. So they have the contemplative caps and contemplative lower. I love this font. So you have some punctuation here with the upper and then on the lower set you have um, some of the numbers. You can kind of see how these look when they're stamped out. I, I love this font. There's just something fun about it. So, and then they also released this stamp set which is a six by eight stamp set and it's called Coffee Time and it just has all coffee related things some cups and some different grinders and some coffee beans and um like uh you know just a regular espresso machine you have um the different kind like a pour over and um my husband likes this and i can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head it, it's too late um my, my brain is fried today so i apologize that the words are not coming out um but anyway, you can kind of see on the back here how they have these kind of colored, but these are just fun little coffee things, especially if you're a coffee lover, obviously I am. So I love that stamp set. They also released a coordinating um, mini Bible journaling kit that has some coffee themed um, some coffee themed fabrics in there. I'm not gonna open this up there. It's, um, well, maybe I will. So you get everything that you need in here to cover a pocket Bible. I have a bunch of videos on my channel of covering um, pocket Bibles. They're just a really fun project. I love I love doing it. So you get your little um, Bible that's the New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs. You get everything that you need. So you have fabrics to choose from to cover it. You have extra fabrics for um, like just if you want to add um, like an extra little spine piece or anything, you have your end papers and some instructions for covering it. And then this little packet has your journaling cards, which have already been pre-cut to the size that you need. And there's a bunch of them in there. And then you also have your stickers, which are also coffee themed. So you have two, um, each of these two designs. So you have the coffee cups and then the coffee rings. So this is, like I said, it's a fun project. It's a great gift to give to somebody. Um, I'm working on one right now that has some, just some scriptures that have some encouragement on them for a friend. And so um, you can work through devotional in them. You could do all kinds of things. So I um, had to get this one because it was obviously coffee themed and some different colors. I have an, an older one that has is coffee themed, but it was a different color way. So i um, excited about that because I love doing those. And then I think that is everything that kind of coordinated with this particular kit this month for Consider Jesus. And then a couple things that I also picked up just extra in the shop because... Um, I wanted them. One of them is this Cocoina glue. So um, this is the same glue that comes in the glue stick. Let me see. I have one right here. Uh, you can get it in a glue stick form. Um, and this we I is the a good glue to use with covering those mini Bibles. But this is the um, that same glue, but it's just in a paste, and so it's got a a brush in there. And I don't know if I should open this, but I'm going too so it comes with a little brush that you can so that you can apply it with that and it smells so good so um i just wanted to have the bigger container of it so i went ahead and just got that they're carrying that now in at in by the well and then i noticed also that there was a stamp set that they had i hadn't did not have yet which is this one from tim holtz um, called faded type and I just love the this for just some textures and so make sure that when you're you know perusing the by the well site that you know look in some of the other sections because they're always adding things they have books they have music they have bibles they have all kinds of things and art supplies and 
Tim Holtz stamps. So I picked those up as well. Um, anyway, I think that's everything for my little um, unboxing for today. I apologize that this video is long. There was a lot to get through. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I'll put my affiliate link down there. Um, I believe there are still kits available, at least at the time that I'm recording this, there are. Um, if you liked this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.